guys welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new my name is marissa also known as homemaking with marissa in today's video i am going to be taking you through two weeks worth of grocery hauls for i'm gonna say my family of six and i'll explain if you've been following for a while you know that i only have three kids my husband and myself but we do have a dog that i'll go into a little bit more detail throughout the video but we have started making our own dog food for her so now for grocery shopping purposes, it's a family of six. I admittedly have never been disciplined about looking at what's on sale at the grocery store. I've never clipped coupons. I've just historically loaded the cart with what I want, what my family is gonna eat, called it good. I did have a budget of $250 per week, but with inflation, I wanted to see if I could challenge myself to pay closer attention to what I'm spending at the grocery store. I wanted to pay attention to what produce is on sale, what meat's on sale, and I will go ahead and take you through the last two weeks. I'll include the total at the end. We'll go over what I ended up spending. I will say that, as I mentioned, I have three children, all boys ranging from five to 18. My two youngest boys eat lunch at school this year their school just includes breakfast and lunch for free for all the students my kids don't like getting to school early enough to eat breakfast there so they're still eating breakfast at home but they do eat lunch at school every day so that is a meal that i'm not having to prepare or pack for them at least for this school year and my 18 year old son i prepare a lot i do a lot of meal prepping for him he eats dinner with us when he's home he eats breakfast in the morning here if he's hungry, but he does have a job. So sometimes he'll get snacks just on his own and he will, I don't know, I think he'll just go out to eat with friends maybe by himself, but that he's paying for that. I don't cover any of that expense for him. My husband and I though primarily eat all of our meals from the house. So lunch, breakfast, dinners, with the exception of typically one night per week, we will go out for a date night. So twice throughout this video, we did eat dinner outside of the house. But other than that, normal week, and I will take you through what my family of six spent at the grocery store over the last two weeks. Here is the overview of what I picked up for this week. Today is October 5th. And normally I shop between once and twice a week. So this was $150. I picked up some snacks for the kids, Fuji apples, two of the individual packs of hummus. This is definitely not the most cost effective way to buy hummus, but otherwise the kids will sit down and eat an entire tub or they'll leave it out and it'll get gross so i have transitioned to just buying these little individual servings also for snacks sunflower seeds and some peanuts these are both for my husband pretzels two bags for the kids to dip in the hummus and some of these z bars all three of the kids like the chocolate flavor and they used to be more open-minded about trying different flavors, but currently the only flavor that they like is just the chocolate brownie. So that's what we've been getting. A couple of items that I need for dinners this week. I'm making beef tips and gravy. The recipe called for two packets of brown gravy mix and beef broth. I always sub beef broth for beef consomme. Veggies. I needed onions, celery, this just came as a freebie in the groceries, so one of the kids will definitely eat that as a snack. For dinner one night, I'm going to be serving a Caesar salad, so I just got a Caesar salad kit. And I will also be putting these mushrooms in with the beef tips. <clears throat> Eggs. We have transitioned to making our own dog food. Our dog is... 10 years old, German Shepherd, and she's just been having some health issues. She's having a really difficult time with the food she's been eating her whole life, so we switched her to a different food. Long story short, that is not going well, her being on kibble. So we have started 
making some of our own dog food. So she'll eat one homemade meal and one kibble meal a day. For the dog food, I bought a pack of eggs. Also for the dog food, some flaxseed. I will just grind this up and add it to her food. Cheese was on sale. We always make homemade pizzas on Friday. So I picked up two packages of mozzarella and two packages of sharp cheddar. My husband likes cottage cheese. He's the only person in the house that eats this. And he's very specific that this is the only cottage cheese that he likes and that he will eat. And cottage cheese is just one of those things I feel like people either love it or hate it. He eats it with sunflower seeds on the top, which I've never seen anyone do. It seems kind of bananas to me, but that's how he likes it. So we got him some cottage cheese. Coffee was on sale. This was kind of a debacle. I did grocery pickup and I meant to get four bags of ground coffee. What I ended up getting was two whole bean bags of coffee and two Nespresso pod boxes, which is fine. I do actually have a Nespresso, so I will use these. Uh, it just wasn't necessarily what I was thinking that I was gonna be getting, so. Grocery pickup, sometimes it's hit and miss, but it still saves me so much time that I will deal with some of the weird things that happen sometimes just because of how much time it saves me. This is also for dog food. Some long grain brown rice, also for dog food. It seems like maybe we're only feeding the dog this week, but this was on a really good sale. So it says it was $22.52 per container, but it was actually 50% off of that. So I got four packages of the beef. This will last for about two months worth of dog food if she's doing a meal of kibble and then a meal of homemade dog food each day. If you want me to talk more about that or show how I made it, I'm by no means an expert, it's just what we're doing, but I would be happy to share that in a future video, how I'm making dog food. Chicken, normally we eat organic chicken. My oldest son just turned 18. He's a senior in high school and he eats so much chicken that it's just not... It's no longer affordable for me to buy him exclusively organic chicken. So he gets what's on sale. He'll probably eat this over the next like two days. He likes it in the Instant Pot or the slow cooker. I just add salsa, shred it up. He eats it with rice and then some sort of veggie. He takes it with him to work and... He's always been a very picky eater, and this is currently what he likes eating. So, uh, deviating from the organic chicken. And also for, this will either be for <laughs> dog food or for, the, for our actual family to eat. I bought frozen spinach, broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. Normally, I will add two or three bags of the frozen veggies with the beef, the rice, all grind up flax, eggs. I think that's all that goes in there. Uh, so this will either be something I'll serve as a veggie side for the family or I will throw it into the next batch of dog food. Today is Sunday, October 10th. Normally on Sundays, I will do a supplemental grocery run if there's anything specific that we're missing. My mom was not gonna use the coupon for the beef, so I ended up getting two more packages of that. Again, that will be for homemade dog food. I don't know if I said, it's $50 for everything. Taco sauce, I am making tacos one night this week. We needed taco shells and sliced olives. One of my children wanted honey crisp apples. I was able to get six of them. They only charged me, I looked at my receipt and they only charged me $1.20 for all six of these. So I don't know if that was a mistake or why they were so inexpensive, but that ended up being quite a good deal. Asparagus for a side, egg noodles for a dinner that I'm making tonight. Actually, we're gonna do uh, beef tips over egg noodles. And then my husband wanted these sunflower seeds. This brand 
specifically. So I just got him two bags of that. And that is what I was able to get for $50, which seems like such a good deal because normally one pack of the beef alone would have been 20. So good deal. And this will definitely get us until my next grocery day on Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, October 12th. I went to Albertsons and Trader Joe's. Let me walk you through what I picked up. These pork pot stickers are my middle son's favorite. And once a month, my mom will take just one of the little kids and my husband and I will have the other little kid at home. Sometimes we go out to eat, sometimes we make something that's a meal that they really like. So two of these for that dinner this week. Pickles, my, I keep wanting to call him a toddler, but he's five years old, so he's definitely not a toddler <laughs> anymore. Uh, likes these pickles. Olive tapenade. This is really good to dip pretzels in, which we still have pretzels left over from last week. Or sometimes I'll put it on pizza on Friday night. Sometimes I use it as a topping on my salads for lunch. This is really good though if you've never had it before from Trader Joe's. I am very picky about shrimp. So even though this is way more expensive than you can get other types of shrimp for, this is the only kind that I like. It's this red Argentinian, a raw Argentinian red shrimp. I think it's like $12 for this package of a pound. So it's definitely on the pricey side, but it's so worth it. I think it says on here that it tastes, maybe it doesn't say anymore, but it used to say that it tasted like lobster and it definitely is just more meaty, less fishy than a lot of shrimp that I've got. So if you live by Trader Joe's, these two things, highly recommend. Chicken was the meat that was on sale this week for, I think it was, it was under $2 a pound. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it was under $2 a pound. I grabbed four packs of turkey thighs. My teenage son has decided that chicken breasts are kind of dry when you put them in the crock pot. So we're gonna try chicken thighs and see if he likes that better. This will definitely get him through the rest of the month as well as probably one dinner for the rest of the family. We still have not done tacos. That's actually on the menu for tonight. So I decided to buy these soft tacos and do like the double decker I don't know if Taco Bell, I haven't been to Taco Bell in years, but they used to have double-decker tacos where it was the soft shell, refried beans, and then a crunchy taco in the middle. That sounded really good for dinner, so that is what I'll be making tonight. These are a snack for myself throughout the week. My middle son also really likes these, so if he sees these, he'll probably get into them. The Cool Mint Cliff Bars. I prefer the Perfect Bars, but they are way more expensive I'm settling on the cliff bars. Two things of olives for pizza night. And I think, I don't remember what the other one was for. It was a deal where if you bought two, it was cheaper. So I got two of them. Refried beans for the double deck for tacos. Salsa for tacos, as well as making the salsa chicken for my son. My oldest son wanted chicken noodle soup. This was the type that was on sale, so eight cans of chicken noodle soup. Cliff bars for the kids. So, <laughs> kids are so funny sometimes. I was told specifically that they only liked the chocolate brownie. So last week I got the chocolate brownie, and then they both told me that they actually like the chocolate chip. I just picked up one of each and then they can compare them and they can tell me which of these two bars they actually prefer. But the oatmeal has been completely vetoed. That is something that neither one of them are willing to eat anymore. This is, I was also told that the snacks, they're sick of pretzels and hummus. <laughs> We're switching it up a little bit this week. My teenage son, I got these peanut butter filled pretzels for. My middle son, these baked cheese crunchies. And then the youngest is obsessed with anything pickle flavored. So we'll see if he likes these pickle flavored potato chips. 
I think maybe I've gotten these before, but I can't remember if the kids liked them or not. When you have three sons, though, somebody will eat these chips. This was on sale, rice pilaf. My husband really likes rice pilaf as a side. I still haven't used the asparagus. I still have that. I'm thinking for dinner one night, I'm going to do rice pilaf, chicken thighs, and asparagus. Peanuts for my husband. He likes the 50% less salt. And the guy can put down some peanuts. I eat avocado toast with an egg almost every morning for breakfast. And I think I only have maybe one avocado left. This breaks it down. I think this whole package is $5. It ends up being less than 75 cents per avocado, which is a really good deal. Organic romaine lettuce for tacos, as well as making salads throughout the week. Honeycrisp apples. A lot of times they don't have these available the organic in the honey crisp i saw those so i grabbed them oranges the little mandarins were on sale grabbed two bags the kids have not been eating as many apples as normal i thought i'd switch up and throw on some mandarins and see if they would prefer that fruit and then i had some rewards two things of cheese they had a deal where it was like one thing of cheese was free and then you could use a reward and get another one for free. So these were completely free. Again, I'll just use them for pizza, cheddar, mozzarella. We'll mix them together. My husband will make pizza. This was also free. You had to buy two things of green onions. But if you used a reward, you got them for free. And then I planned on getting croutons anyway for my salads. But this was another deal where if you used a reward, you got them for free. So all of these items were completely free. Again, $125, which considering that we went to Trader Joe's and sometimes I can go a little wild in there, I feel like I did pretty well. We only ended up going to the grocery store three times during the first two weeks of October. And the total was 300, what is that? $325, which, Normally we were spending $250 each week, $500 for two weeks, and we were not making dog food. We didn't have any of the expense of buying the food for the dog. Now I will say we have a very well-stocked freezer full of meat. We have a well-stocked pantry. We have a lot of herbs. We have basic essentials like flour, sugar, butter. We have containers of oat milk and canned food from Costco. I wasn't doing like a major restock of any of those items. I was exclusively just buying the things that we needed or things that were priced at a very competitive rate and I knew that we would use in the coming weeks. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and haven't done so already, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon of my face. I will also include an entire playlist full of grocery hauls if you'd like to see other ways that I have grocery shopped for my family in the past. I hope that you are all doing well and I will see you soon. Bye.